Oh, I managed to get him, Ohanam. I thought this guy was going to take forever to scoop up. He's super fast. This guy right here, I've had for, man, almost three years now. He's about 15, 16 inches. Um, he was the second Koi I ever purchased for Tiki Falls. I love his coloration. He's got that orange gold type of, you know, color along that gray base body. Kind of looks like a butterfly Koi. I'm not sure what type of Koi. I'm going to say long fin butterfly. But if you guys know, leave a comment. He's going on a little trip. Let's go. Ooh, aloha, my ohana. It is your boy. Oh, man. I don't even know what to say to you guys. Back in it to win it. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice, big, warm aloha and welcome. On my channel, we talk about everything aquatics, whether it be freshwater or saltwater, goldfish and koi ponds, local fish store tours, fish rescues, DIY projects, and product reviews in the hobby. Well, Ohana, we are in the beautiful city of West Sacramento, visiting my boy, Anthony, over at Koi Enterprise. This one's for you, Anthony. What are you doing today? That's kind of like his saying that he says on Instagram. <laughs> Every story, he always starts with that. So I guess you guys saw in the beginning as I was packing up a koi and taking him on this journey, that koi is right there in the back of the car. Now, there's a reason why I am here in West Sacramento at Koi Enterprise. Um, I'm gonna visit my boy Anthony and he's actually, well, let me start in the beginning, okay? I got some bad news. So I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering how my beautiful Showa, Troy, is doing. Well, he's not doing too good. Matter of fact, he's no longer with me. So, yeah, after I made that last video, which if you haven't seen, I'll put a card up above. Go check it out. Uh, the next morning, yeah, as we say in Hawaiian, he was maki, or no longer with us. He died. So, uh, I had to do the proper burial for him, put him in a big Ziploc, dug a hole, put him down in the ground. Yeah, it sucks, you know. I was really, I really had hopes for that guy. I thought he was gonna pull through, but, you know, and then I ordered these meds, thanks to you guys, the Ohana. My meds haven't came in yet, and I'm just waiting, you know. So it was just kind of like, yeah, I struck out on this one. So um, I was talking to my boy, Anthony. He said, why don't you do me a favor? Bring one of your Koi's down to West Sac here, Koi Enterprise. By the way, all of their links will be down in the description below. And what he's gonna do is uh, he's gonna take a look. I think he's gonna scrape one of my koi. I actually brought my koi here. Um, he's gonna scrape it and he's gonna look at it. And we're gonna check out to see if uh, you know it has any type of uh, parasite, something that I can treat in the pond, just so it doesn't like spread. If there is something in the pond, so we're just this is total precaution. And I am with my koi guru Anthony, so I'm in good hands. I totally trust my guy. Uh, he was saying, hey, don't quote me. I just wanna run a test on them so i have a little bit of water here of course with the koi we're gonna uh, bring him in there and uh yeah we're gonna do an examination on him and um this is gonna be an interesting video so sit tight ohan all right oh by the way if you guys haven't subscribed why don't you do me a favor hit that subscribe button next to that subscribe button is a little bell to notification bell click that bell turn it on it's just gonna notify you when i upload a new video bangers that's all we do on this channel banger after banger after banger so let's go ahead and uh, get this bad boy in see you guys in a second man ohana i really love this place i just love it when you walk in it's just the sense of calmness um it's just beautiful look at his landscape i tell you it's like no other place i'd rather be you know <sighs> oh check it out he's got a bunch of stuff here for sale too on the table look at this you got pumps you got big filtration system wow look at that that's pretty cool all for sale look at these things some good stuff here skimmers and wow look at this oh i like this man oh my gosh look at this huge filter look at this advantage filter sacramento koi advantage koi system whoa that's crazy there it is right there cash only look at this bad boy oh how's it going how are you oh yeah oh yeah the guardian this is the guardian right here yeah how you doing you want to say hi to youtube <laughs> just loving on this big big boy yeah you guys want to see a beautiful pond now as we walk through the garden of eden here i gotta give a huge shout out to island silver crowns you know i had to wear the white koi with the pink 
Lotus, I had to wear it. It just, it fits the theme of this video. So shout out to Island Silver Crown. Go cop yourself a crown, especially the Koi one, man. It's beautiful. Whew. Speaking of beautiful, check it out. You have got to be kidding me. Look at these beautiful gems, huh? Look at them. They're all coming. They all think I'm gonna feed them. Look at them all. Oh my gosh, all you do is just step up to this stone right here and they all think you're gonna get fit. Look at them. Oh my gosh, some heavy hitters in here. Heavy hitters, look at this one here. Look, ah, feed me, oh, throw me some food. Oh, beautiful. There's Ochibas, I think. Oh my gosh, just look at the collection. Oh, just the beauty. This is the, oh my God, look at that huge Tancho Kohaku right there. That is a big boy. Oh my goodness. He's got some big ones in there, some giants. Look at look at the big Tancho Kohaku. Oh my gosh. Just, and the regular Kohakus. Ooh, look at that. That one's already got a sho nice shoulder on it, huh? You see that little break? Jeez, there's just so many of them. Oh, look at them. Just beautiful. Look at this beautiful pond. Yep. This is what you first walk into paradise. You know, when you first walk in to Koi Enterprise, this is the show pond and Koi. My goodness, just beautiful. Ah, oh, look at, look at the surroundings. I'm telling you guys, it's magical here. So while I'm waiting for Anthony, we're gonna walk around his beautiful property, his koi farm, if you will, and uh, check out all these gems. Ooh, check out these beautiful Tamasaba goldfish. These are some goldfish that I actually want to get for my pond. Check them out. Here they are. Tamasabos, $79.99, look at them. Aren't those so beautiful, so unique? I don't know much about the Tamasaba goldfish. I can probably ask Anthony and he'll give me the origin on these goldfish, but just look at them. They're just a different shape. They almost look like a, a Ryukin shape, uh, but not. Let's, sh let's see if we can scoop some and just get like a, a better look at some of these guys. They're not very fast swimmers, but you can see their body shape. Look at that. I think they're so cool looking though. See that? That's so cool. Look at, uh, just some beauties, huh? They're super little, they're little chunkers too. I love their body shape. Tamasaba goldfish, guys, here at Koi Enterprise. And then right next to the uh, Tamasabas, we got $50 Koi here. Look at, look how pretty. These are all $50. A nice, beautiful selection of Koi for 50 bucks. You can't go wrong. Now, if you want something a little bit more bigger and more money, he's got that too. Check it out. Here's some for 150 and a huge difference. Oh my gosh, look at, oh, a key Utsuri. Look at that, black and yellow koi. That is on my hit list. That is one of the koi that I want. The key Utsuri, oh. So there's a he Utsuri, which is black and red, and a key Utsuri, which is the black and yellow. Oh, that's just one of uh, many he has in here. There's another key Utsuri down over here. Look at that black and yellow one there. 150 bucks, you cannot go wrong, look it. And you're gonna get a high quality imported Japanese koi, all right? These aren't domestic. Oh my gosh, look it. Oh, he does have hee utsuri in here too as well. Let me show you the hee utsuri, I just saw it. Oh, there it is right there. There is the hee utsuri, look at that hee utsuri. Oh, look at that, black and red, and then right next to it, the ki utsuri, black and yellow. These are two that are on my hit list. I have them in my notes. Oh, man. Oh, look at, speaking of Showa. Oh, I believe that's a Showa. Ah, oh, I'm missing my Showa. Oh my God, look at that Ginrin. I don't know if that's uh, what type of Ginrin, but ooh, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gosh. See, that's the thing with Anthony's place. It's like, it's a love-hate relationship when I come here. I love coming here, but then I hate it because I want everything, and you know, you know you can't have everything, right? Especially when you don't have the money to get everything, but I just fall in love with these fish. You want something bigger and more expensive? 
Check out these babies. Oh yeah, there you go. You want some that are 500 to 1500? Oh, you're talking about some really high quality koi here. And a lot bigger too. They're looking at about, oh, definitely over a foot, you know, probably foot and a half. Easy. I would say maybe 17, 18 inches. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Susui, where's it at? Where's the Susui at? Oh man, just beautiful. Look at them, just coming up, hanging out. Such a great selection of koi. Look at these right next door. Oh, beauties, beauties, beauties. Oh, there's another Shisui, big one. Some big Shisuis. Oh, look at that Kiutsuri. Oh, I'm sorry, he, he Utsuri. Oh my gosh, the red on that he Utsuri is so deep. Let's see if he comes close. Oh, look at it. Look at that black and red. O M G Z. Look at that black and red. He Utsuri. Oh. Love that big boy. Like I said, when you come here, it's beautiful paradise. How you doing? It's a paradise out here. Got all these bins. Look at behind me. Full of koi, full of fish. Ooh, check out this pond here. This is one of my favorite ponds. This is Anthony's son's pond. He actually made and stocked it himself. Check it out. Look at this, huh? Look at look at these koi. Oh my god, look at his kiutsuri. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, he did a great job on this. Look at this nice little waterfall. There's Anthony Jr. right here, huh? Love this one. This has a lot of meaning. This is as you walk into the garden, you know? Look it. This is a family-owned business. That's Anthony's dad right there. And all those bins, they're full of fish. Yeah, beautiful fish. See that big tub right there? That's full of fish too. And I haven't been here in some time now. Now, if you look over my shoulder, there's Anthony's sweet mom. Like I said, it's a family affair here, family-owned business, and support your family-owned business, especially when they're in the fish hobby. Oh, I shouldn't even say fish. I said koi hobby. Just beautiful. Now, the last time I was here, I actually got three fish. I got my beautiful Tancho Kohaku. I actually won my Goshiki on um, his auction site. And then we also, while I was here, we picked up that beautiful Shasui. Oh, I, I love all three of those fish. Like I said, it's just, ooh, goodness. I'm just looking at, uh, in one of these bins here. Check out these fish. Oh my, 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 look at them. Oh, just look at the colors. These Showas are just insane. I think I came on the wrong day, you know, when I lost my Showa. Now I'm looking at, you know, oh, look at that Shiro Utsuri too. The Shiro Utsuri is the black and white. Oh, these colors and these fish are just insane. Uh, there's just a huge difference when it comes to domestic koi versus imported koi, especially imported koi from Japan. You just look at it and it just looks different. The colors are vibrant. Uh, the body style is just different. They just it's just a different fish, you know, it's a different type of koi. Let's go check out some more. You see all these bins, they all have prices on it. This one here, 50 bucks. This one over here, 150. Uh, let's go check out the 150 one. Oh, well, while we're here, let's just take a peek at the $50. Okay, it's a nice little collection here. Look at them. Oh yeah, I think I think there's a couple, what, Kohaku's in there? Um, yeah, look at them. Uh, some scaleless. Not a big, big selection, but let's go see what's in the $150 bin. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Hi, buddies. Look at them all. You know, kind of scared. I don't blame them. Oh, there's some beauties in here, though. Yeah, you can kind of see them there. Ooh. Ooh, look at that one there. Sorry, guys, I'm not too educated on the koi. If Anthony was here, he can kind of break them all down for us, but... There's some beauties here. Ooh, look at this one, $350 in this bin. Ooh wee. It's just, it's funny, I don't know if it's funny, but when you see the price jump up and then you look at the koi, huge difference compared to a $50 koi versus a $300 koi. Just a big difference in color, obviously size, but yeah, there's just a big difference. Here's a bin with $350 koi, oh my goodness. 
Oh gosh, look at the Kohaku's in here. Ooh wee. That one right there is a complete stunner. I know you can't, it's hard to see because the camera's focusing on this net, but oh man. He's got some beautiful Showa's in here. Jeez Louise. Oh, look at that Tancho right there, huh? Oh, I'm sorry, that Kohaku. Oh my gosh, it almost looks like a Tancho Kohaku. Oh, there's a beautiful Kohaku in here. Oh, look at that Ki Utsuri. Ah, it's so hard with this net in the way. I'll zoom out so we can get a better look at it. Yeah, right there. Oh, look at that Ki Utsuri right there. Oh no, it's not a Ki. I thought it was a Ki Utsuri. But that Kohaku, oh man. Right there, look at that. Ooh wee. Beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, you guys wanna see some beautiful platinum koi? Check this bin out. This one here is $250. And look at these beautiful Ginrin Platinum Koi in here. Oh my goodness. $250 in this bin. Oh, there's just so many Platinums in here. So many Platinums. Oh. Gosh, look how pretty. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how you would pick one out. Yeah, I want to get a platinum one. Which one would you even pick? That's why they have these viewing bowls here. You net them, you put them in the viewing bowl, you can kind of break them down, see which one you like. But I mean, look at them all. They're all a bunch of diamonds. They're like perfect, uncut, flawless. Oh man. Beautiful koi, huh guys? Beautiful. Hey, don't forget to give this video a big like too, okay? Gosh. This is beautiful, beautiful koi. Look at these beautiful gems right here. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, those are pretty. Is this Showa? These are Showa's. Yeah, beautiful Showa's. Look at them. And so my man here is uh, picking the ones that he likes with his net, putting them in his viewing bowl. Oh, beautiful. Gosh, look at them. The colors. Or as they would say, the confirmation. Look at them. Just beautiful. This big one here is nice. Look at that one there. Yeah, that one's a big beast. Some nice, nice fish. What has he got in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful. Look at that. Taking his time. Looking for the one that he wants. Oh, he sees one. He sees one. Let's see which one he's going to get. Oh, he's going to get that one right there. He's going to look at it. You see him viewing it. Making sure that's the one that he wants. He'll either release it or put it in the viewing bowl. He's going to get a closer look at it. These nets are like the best. See him? He's checking it out. I don't blame him, though. When you're going to make an investment on these beautiful... Oh, that's a beautiful Showa, too. Oh, the black on that. Ooh. Oh, my God. Look at the spots. Oh, he let him go. Oh, he wasn't interested. The man knows what he wants. I kind of got out of there. I think I was bothering... Uh, the guy picking out the koi, he's kind of a koi expert, and I didn't want to distract him. He's like in a deep, deep, focused state of concentration, and I'm over there yapping away about the koi that he picked, so I don't want to interrupt him. He's right there. Look at him. Yeah, he's super focused. So I was just talking to Anthony's dad, and he was like, yeah, he's kind of a perfectionist when it comes to him picking out his koi. He definitely knows what he wants, so I just casually walked away talking to you guys, but... Check out this big bin here. Look it. <laughs> look it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're full of koi. Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at them. And they're full of hungry koi. Hungry look at them. Isn't this like the coolest, guys? Look at it. I swear it's koi heaven here. Ah. Anyways, so as I'm walking down towards the end or the back of the actual koi farm, I saw something. 
that uh, you already know when you see these, you know what's going on. What do you think that means? Yeah, that means they got a big shipment. Oh yeah, empty boxes, empty koi boxes. And this is the famous greenhouse. Now, if you're looking for the big baller fish, this is where they would be. I'm talking like hundreds of thousands of dollars of beautiful koi in this greenhouse. Now, don't think you can break into this greenhouse, all right? It's heavily guarded. There's cameras, surveillance, sensors. You ain't getting in here, all right? Just so you know. It is locked. I wish I can go in there and show you guys, but check it out. If you guys wanna know what's in this greenhouse, I actually had the honor to go in this greenhouse and I have an entire playlist of Koi Enterprise. I'll put a card up above. It's uh, when I came here. I came here, I made two videos, right? So go check it out. This video will be on that playlist too as well, but if you wanna see what's in these doors or behind these doors, go check out those videos. This place is awesome. He takes extreme care of his koi when they come in. Each koi that comes in has their own bin. There's curtains around it so the water doesn't contaminate. There's no splashing from bin to bin. But as I pan this way, check it out, Ohana. Over here are the in-ground ponds. So let's go check out some of the koi in the in-ground ponds. Ooh, look at these babies, huh? Oh, I see some big Tamasabas in here too. Look at, oh yeah, those are those beautiful orange right there. Bright red or whatever you want to call it. Look at them all run over here. Those are big Tamasabas. Oh man, look at them. Look at these koi. So beautiful. And I'm talking about underground pond after underground pond. See that pond over there, that underground pond right there? That is the underground pond where I found my Tancho Kohaku in. Yeah, I personally got to net him myself in this beautiful sea of fish. And uh, I was super, uh, I guess you can call it luck because uh, even Auntie wasn't sure if he had one in here. He said, I might have one in here. And you know, it's like, it's almost like, you know, finding a needle in a haystack. So I grabbed a net here and just started to, you know, slowly net some fish and whammo, I found a beautiful Tancho Kohaku. Yep. So you got this bin here. You got this underground. I'm sorry. Underground pond. I shouldn't call it a bin. That's beautiful. You see that fish right there? It looks kind of a cream color. Oh, please don't go out of sight. Oh, anyways, you can kind of see the black is starting to come in. It looks really faded on some of these fish. That means that that black is definitely going to get darker here. You can see one right there. See how it's kind of faded, the black? When you're looking at a koi, oh, here you go, here it is. See that fish right there? You see the, the kind of the pigment that's kind of dark? That's actually gonna turn black as it gets older, as it matures. So, you know, people that are picking out koi, they're looking for those markings too as well. So if you see a kind of a faded patch, there's nothing wrong with it. That just means that it's going to actually get darker as it gets older. So it gives you an idea of the pattern. Let's see if we can get him. There he is right there. Oh, he moved the wrong way. Darn it. Anyways, you kind of get it though, right guys? There you go, here he comes. He comes back in the frame. Look at him. There he is. You can kind of see the patches. All that's gonna get super black, dark. So right there on his head, about midway uh, down his body is gonna get black. It gives you an idea of what this fish is gonna look like, which is so cool. And I'm sure when this guy was super small, like a juvenile, like maybe Fry, he was probably solid white, which is kind of uh, neat. But anyways, beautiful koi. You want some pond plants? He has it all, look at Everything from water hyacinth. I mean, he's got everything you need for your pond. Oh my gosh, look at that. You can come down here and get some beautiful pond plants. He has it all. Anyways, my Ohana, I hope you guys learned a little something in this video. Uh, but not only that though, stay tuned. There's definitely a part two to this video, okay? You know your boy isn't leaving here empty handed. As a matter of fact, I also came here because I, I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have to stay tuned for that next video, all right? Other than that, guys, enjoy the video, enjoy your day, and I will see you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha. <laughs>